The video you are about to watch is premised on the results of two studies by Hagen and colleagues related to the effects of different lacing patterns on pressure distribution, comfort, and biomechanics of running shoes. So before I head off to start seeing patients this morning, I wanted to take some time to discuss lacing running shoes. Um, I'm currently wearing the Adidas Zero Boost. This was a shoe that was recently used to set the world record in the marathon in Berlin. And the thing that's unique about this particular shoe is, unlike most shoes which have six or seven eyelets, this actually has eight eyelets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So most of the time you want to use all the eyelets to fully capture the, the foot and prevent heel slippage. So I'm going to take you through some of the more common lacing patterns that I use. Um, the standard crisscross pattern is the strongest lacing pattern, so I'm going to just stick with that. So once I get to the top of the shoe here, I fed this through the seventh eyelet. I'm going to loop it back in on the same side through the eighth eyelet. And what this does is creates what we call rabbit ears. All right. So once those are in place, you're going to feed the lace through the opposite side and then you're just going to gently snug the laces down. So this is a really effective lacing technique to pull the upper to fully capture the foot. So it looks like that. And I would say that's the most common lacing pattern that I use. Another one which is very similar involves a standard crisscross pattern through this time the eighth eyelet. In contrast to the previous lacing technique, you're going to insert the lace through the same eyelet that you finished with. And again, you're going to create rabbit ears. And similar to the last lacing technique, go ahead and just feed it through. Okay, so those two are very similar. The last lacing technique that I'm going to show you is something that I'll use for folks who have high arches or if there's any sort of irritation or hot spot on the dorsum of the foot um, that would be caused by say the, the tendon of the tibialis anterior. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the sixth eyelet, we're going to loop it back in on the seventh And again, this is going to create a little bit of a relief on the dorsum of the foot. And then feed it back through the eighth eyelet. Okay. And again, I'm going to feed the lace back through the same eyelet here to create the rabbit ears. before snugging the shoe down. And you can see there's a relief. So those are three lacing options. Give them a shot and really instill habits with your runners and I'm confident this is going to save you some grief down the road.